we have a vector valued function, it's given to us in what's called component form. Whenever you have these angle brackets like this, it's called component form. Okay, we have to find the derivative in this problem, so let's go ahead and do it. So to find the derivative of the vector valued function, all we have to do is take the derivative of each of these components. So the 8 hangs out because it's a constant, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so parentheses negative sine t. And the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is just 7 cosine t. And I guess uh, we should definitely rewrite it. It's 8 times negative sine, so it's really just negative 8 sine of t, comma, and then 7 cosine of t. So pretty easy. Again, the derivative of 8 cosine t, that's just going to be negative 8 sine t. That's what we have here. And the derivative of 7 sine t is 7 cosine t. And this would be the answer. This would be the derivative of the vector valued function.